The Power of the Rosary, A Journey of Faith. Welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. In a small, quiet town, nestled between rolling hills and winding streams, lived a woman named Clara. Clara was known for her kindness, her dedication to her family, and her unwavering faith. But there was something else about Clara that set her apart. She was deeply devoted to praying the rosary. Every morning before the sun rose, Clara could be found on her knees, beads in hand, whispering the ancient prayers that had been passed down through generations. The rosary to her was more than a routine. It was a lifeline, a connection to the divine, and a source of immense strength. Clara often recalled the words of St. Padre Pio, the rosary is the weapon for these times. She believed that through the rosary, she was not only drawing closer to God, but also shielding herself and her loved ones from the trials and temptations of the world. The mysteries of the rosary, which reflect on the life of Christ and the Virgin Mary, were for Clara a daily reminder of God's love, sacrifice, and the hope of eternal life. One day, Clara's neighbor, James, noticed her devotion. Curious, he asked her, Clara, why do you spend so much time praying the rosary? What do you gain from it? Clara smiled and invited James to sit with her. The rosary, she began, is like a spiritual treasure chest. Each prayer, each bead, brings me closer to Jesus through his mother, Mary. It's not just about asking for favors, it's about meditating on the life of Christ and aligning my life with his. James listened intently as Clara continued. In Luke 1 28, the angel Gabriel greets Mary saying, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. The rosary begins with this greeting because it honors Mary who brought Jesus into the world. When we pray the rosary, we are honoring Mary's role in God's plan and asking for her intercession. Clara then shared a quote from St. Louis de Montfort, a great advocate of the rosary. When the Holy Rosary is said well, it gives Jesus and Mary more glory and is more meritorious than any other prayer. She explained that the rosary is a way to give glory to God and to meditate on the mysteries of Christ's life, death, and resurrection but what happens if we don't say the rosary? James asked. Clara's expression grew serious. Neglecting the rosary, she said, is like leaving a gift unopened. St. John Paul II once said, the rosary is my favorite prayer, a marvelous prayer, marvelous in its simplicity and its depth. To not pray the rosary is to miss out on the profound graces and spiritual growth that come from meditating on the mysteries of our faith. She paused for a moment, then added, without the rosary, we risk losing that daily connection with God, that constant reminder of his presence in our lives. We miss out on the peace that comes from entrusting our worries and struggles to Mary, who always brings them to her son. Clara then recounted a passage from the Bible, John 2, 5, where Mary at the wedding in Cana tells the servants, do whatever he tells you. Mary's role, Clara explained, is to guide us to Jesus. When we pray the rosary, we are following her advice, allowing her to lead us to her son and to do his will. James nodded, understanding the depth of Clara's words. He realized that the rosary was more than just a string of prayers. It was a powerful tool for spiritual growth and a means of drawing closer to God. That night, James found an old set of rosary beads his grandmother had given him years ago. He dusted them off, sat quietly, and began to pray. As he moved through the prayers, he felt a sense of peace wash over him, a peace he hadn't felt in years. The mysteries of Christ's life came alive in his heart, and for the first time, he truly understood the power of the rosary, the benefits and the losses. For those who embrace the rosary, the benefits are immeasurable. 
the rosary brings peace, clarity, and strength. It deepens our relationship with God, fortifies us against temptation, and offers a constant source of grace. It's a daily reminder of Christ's love and the promise of eternal life. On the other hand, those who neglect the rosary miss out on these graces. They forgo the spiritual armor that protects them from the evils of the world. Without the rosary, their connection to God may weaken, leaving them vulnerable to doubt, fear, and despair. In the end, Clara's devotion to the rosary became a beacon of faith in her community. More and more people, inspired by her example, began to pray the rosary, experiencing the profound peace and grace that comes from this simple yet powerful prayer. And James, who once questioned the value of the rosary, found himself becoming a devout follower, his life transformed by the power of those ancient beads. The rosary, as Clara often said, is not just a prayer, it's a way of life. It's a path to Christ, guided by his mother, and a source of endless blessings for those who choose to walk it. May Virgin Mary obtain for us the grace to say the rosary daily, and for her son Jesus Christ, answer all our prayers in Jesus name. Amen. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.